For more videos, visit ForTheSakeOfEducation.com Alright guys, let's do this problem where they want you to find the, the forces acting on the members KJ, KD, and CD. What you want to do is you want to use the method of sections and cut it right in between the three members that they want you to find. Now, what do I use? The left or the right side? Well, the answer is we use the right side of the truss. Why do we use the right side? Because G has a vertical force but can't really have an horizontal component. Whereas A can have a vertical and an horizontal reaction. So there's two variables on the left but there's only one variable on the right. That's why you want to use the right side. And it's much easier to find it as you soon see why. So let me redraw the right side of the truss at the right. All right, guys, now we have this drawn. We gotta treat the, the members that we're trying to find. We're gonna treat them as external forces acting onto this truss. We got this force of 40 kilonewtons. We got these three members that we're trying to find. And we know that at G, we got a vertical reaction. Let's call it FY. Let's add the letters, D, E, F, G, H, I, and J. And this would be J, K, this would be K, D, and this would be C, D. So, the first thing we're going to find is, let's find this angle phi. We know that phi this angle right here, call it phi. Phi is equal to the tangent inverse of 3 over 2, which is equal to 56.3 degrees. We're just going to need that for our calculations. So, the reason why we pick the right side is because this f of y we can find easily by doing the sum of the moments at a. You know that the sum of the moments at a is equal to 0 and is equal to the moment that this force creates plus the moment that this force creates plus this moment minus this moment because this is creating an opposite moment to this three. So the 20 kilonewton force creates a moment of 20 kilonewtons times two plus the 30 times four plus the 40 times six and the Fy minus the Fy because it's going the opposite way as the other three unless as we are assuming that clockwise is positive so it's minus Fy times 12 which is the whole length of the truss when you solve for Fy in this equation you get that Fy is equal to 33.33 kilonewtons so we already found an important variable now you know that the sum of the forces in the Y is equal to 0 and the only the only uh, force that we don't know that's acting on the y is kd so that's a good thing so we got the 40 kilonewton force going down so minus 40 plus the 33.33 reaction which is found is going up plus kd times the sine of phi which we already found phi is equal to zero so when you solve for kd you get that is equal to positive 8 kilonewtons and it was going up so that is correct if kd is going up this is going down which means that it is in tension now now if you calculate the sum of the moments at g are equal to zero why do we pick the sum of the moments at g? Well, you can't really do the sum of the, the forces at x because you have two variables in the x direction, cd and jk, that you don't know. But if you do the sum of the moments at g, you cancel fy out. cd doesn't really create any moment at, um, because it's aiming straight away from the point. And we already know kd and the 40. So all you need is the jk. And it is equal to 
jk times 3 plus 40 times 6 minus 8 sine of 56.3 times 6 because you know that the only component of this KD force that's creating a moment about G is the vertical component. The horizontal is not creating any moment. So this is a minus. So when you solve for JK, you get that is it is equal to negative 66.7 kilonewtons. The fact that it's negative means that it's not going left, it's going right. So let's fix that. It's going to the right, and you put it down here. JK is equal to 66.7 kilonewtons. If it's going to the right, this one's going to the left, and it means that it is in compression. And now you can do the sum of the forces in the x are equal to zero because you know JK. It's going to the right minus cd minus 8 cosine of 56.3 which is kd's uh, x component and all these are equal to zero so when you solve for cd you get that it is equal to 62.3 kilonewtons and since it's positive it was going to the right so that was correct so it means that it goes like this and it is in tension final answer please comment below if you want me to do any problems and i'll be happy to help thank you